I'm Jack Ford, and welcome to American Ed TV, found conveniently right here on Verizon Fios On Demand. American Ed TV, first and only place where you can find all the important stories focusing on the world of education. We bring you the issues and personalities in an entertaining and informative way that helps you understand just how vital it is to see what is really going on in the education industry. Each month, we offer you a selection of the top college lists from the experts at the Princeton Review. American Ed TV, because now more than ever, education matters. Patel Industries is a proud sponsor of American Ed TV. With the average cost of a college education in the United States soaring, the attraction of quality public colleges with their lower price tags has never been greater. Rob Franick from the Princeton Review talks about the top five values in public colleges where you can get the biggest bang for your buck. Number five on your list, University of Wisconsin at Madison. Yeah. A, a storied college oh. in, in a, for a lot of reasons. Why does it make your list here? Students at Madison, Wisconsin Madison, are, are so clear of their superlative academic experience. They also talk about their college town. It is nirvana. Low tuition and high A dollars for those students. Excellent career services, whether a student is going on to graduate or professional school right away after school, or they're moving on to, to for a first time career, that alumni network and the superlative career services at Madison, really breathtaking. Number four on the list is one of the schools in the SUNY system, yep. State University of New York, Binghamton. Yep. Why? Now, Binghamton is such a powerhouse school academically. I mean, it is one of the really the two flagships for the SUNY system, and deservedly so. Great academic experience for a student from a career services perspective, except a great alumni network from the Binghamton community. But again, a very reasonable sticker price for those students. And then in addition to the sticker price, a great deal of financial aid dollars that are offsetting. The number three school yeah. here, the New College of Florida. Some people might not even know that it exists, <laughs> yet th th it's got a fascinating story. It was founded as the Honors College of the Florida State System. It was previously associated with University of South Florida. It's only 800 students, so it really looks very much like a small private school. It's on the old Ringling Estate, right on the coast of Florida. It's a gorgeous campus, but again, it is such a value for students in the classroom for interaction and great conversation with faculty, mentoring with those faculty members, great internships for students outside the classroom. It's an unapologetically uh, pretty liberal student base as well. You know, great, great kids. But $14,000 sticker price, average aid package, average grant aid, over $10,000. Number two ranked in your public schools, University of Virginia. University of Virginia has been a usual suspect on our, on our best value colleges uh, ranking list. Number two spot this year. Big school again, 14,000 students. Students have been so clear with us at the, at the Princeton Review. I mean, we do a great deal of student surveying of saying what a value their academic experiences is. They're talking about their relationships with professors, how much they value those relationships. And this is for a still over 10,000 students on a public school basis. Basis. They talk about UVA like it's a private school. And when we start to think about it, $20,000 on average sticker price, right around $16,000 in gift aid for students. So bring it right down to that $5,000 dollars mark. The number one value rated college in the public college category is? University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Why? Excellent school academically. It's a big school, 18,000 students. But when we look at their sticker price for an in-state student, $16,400 average gift aid, so again, not taking out loans, $11,700, bringing it right down to about that $4,800, $4,900 mark. And a marvelous school, oh. beautiful campus. Gorgeous campus. First public university, correct? Absolutely, I mean, these schools are exceptional schools. They've had a long history of providing great academic experiences for students, but I think that important message, again, is that they're really putting that financial backing, making sure that college is affordable for that average kid and family. Are there some other schools out there, some very, very good schools, but 
not as difficult to get in. On the public side of the fence, we're here today, beautiful Brooklyn College, this is part of the City University of New York system, the CUNY system. Brooklyn College, excellent example, nearly 12,000 students at this little oasis in the middle of- This is a gorgeous campus. It totally is, and, and the quality of faculty at Brooklyn College is bar none. But let's look at the sticker price, $4,800 for the average student. That looks like it's a misprint. $4,800. $4,800, but the average gift aid, the average grant aid is right around that $3,800, $3,900 mark. So we know that students and families, not only is it, a, is it a mild sticker price, but they're still receiving financial aid to help offset the cost for students and families based on that family's need. So again, providing a great experience academically in a wonderful, vibrant city, but also making that financial aid commitment to students. The Princeton Review and American Ed TV, the college experts. You're watching American Ed TV on Verizon Fios On Demand. The more I learn about our current education system, the more convinced I am we need a revolution. If you ask somebody in China what the graduation rate is, they don't understand the question. If you get into a university or a college in China, you're going to graduate. We need people who are well-trained, skilled, who can compete in that future market. Why is education so important to Battelle? It's important to Battelle. We have a built-in interest in education from the founding of Battelle. A large number of our 25,000 employees are scientists, technologists, engineers, mathematicians, and a host of other scientific disciplines. However, we believe STEM education goes beyond just that. We think it's important for everybody to be competent in the STEM subjects, and that's going to help economists, lawyers, administrators, and um, everyone else. I hope we're going to see a change in approach to how we educate children that's radical and fundamentally different. What we're looking for is a way to get more kids, and in my mind, kids who wouldn't otherwise make it, into STEM educations where they can lead very profitable and useful lives. And what we're learning is that if we teach in a certain way, that likelihood rockets up. We're moving into a, a whole new era of competition, knowledge-based industries, and so it's very important to the country. Talk a little bit about this STEMX and yes. the, the notion of creating a network among states. Yeah. We don't believe we have all the answers. Uh, we've now got 13 states that have an interest in STEM and have their own learning networks within those states. And the idea of STEMX is to bring all of that under a common rubric where we can exchange ideas, where we can learn from each other. And in this sense, I think pluracy of in investigation is, is really valuable. We have a common interest, a common purpose, and we hope to increase the number of teachers in STEM, the number of kids in STEM, the quality of that education by good old-fashioned partnering and learning from each other. And STEMX, that's really what it's about. And so I think STEM education is a big piece of that solution for this country's well-being. Well, Patel has done a wonderful job advancing that. We appreciate your chatting with us, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching American Ed TV on Verizon Fios On Demand. To learn more, go to AmericanEdTV.com.